Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I made a salad for you and we're gonna dissect a salad. Did you ever think you could do that? Here's why. Um, today we're gonna talk about the parts of the plant and there are four main parts of the plant, no matter if it's a shrub, a flower, a vegetable, a fruit, every plant has four parts in order to do all the jobs that a, part, a plant needs to do. And believe it or not, we actually eat in some way, shape or form all four of those plant parts. So I'm gonna to talk to you today a little bit about what those parts are and what they're meant for. And then we're gonna come back to this salad and try to dissect what parts of the plant are all of these ingredients. Do you think you can do it? Follow along with me. So as I mentioned, there are four main parts of the plant. Let's start with leaves. Leaves are the food factory of the plant. If you know anything about plants, you've heard the term photosynthesis. And that is how the plant is going to make food for itself. And the majority of that is going to be happening in the leaves. So the leaf's main job is to make food for the rest of the plant. Its secondary job is for transpiration. Transpiration is basically the plant's way of sweating. So as it's going to make food for itself and process everything, it's going to have a water vapor, aka sweat, that needs to exit the body. And it's going to be doing this through the leaves. So that's why you might see what looks like dew on the underside of the leaves from time to time. The second part of the plant that we're going to talk about is the stem. And the stem is basically the skeleton for a plant. It's the support structure. It's super important that the stems be sturdy and strong enough to withstand both wind, rain, animals walking through a field, people brushing up against it. Because if it is not and it breaks, the rest of the plant can no longer function because it's what's connecting itself to everything. So it's super important for support. Secondly, in the inside, it has all of basically the equivalent to us humans, the veins and the arteries. It's going to move all the nutrients and water around up and down the plant. The third part today is the root. And as you can see, the root has a lot of jobs, but there's two that I want to talk about. First off is the anchoring of the plant. Just like the stems being structurally sound is super important, the roots need to be strong and deep or wide enough that it's gonna hold the plant in the ground. If they're weak and they are gonna just pop right out with the first wind or rainstorm, it's basically the equivalent to those stems being weak. So anchoring is super important. And then secondly, what most of us think about is the absorption of water and minerals from the ground. This is basically acting as a sponge and soaking up the water. It's the only access point for intake of water to the plant. So having healthy roots and enough of them to do this job is super important for the plant's overall well-being. The last part of the plant today is the flower. Every plant has a flower, whether it looks like a flower we think of in a traditional bouquet or not. The flower is there usually at the top of the plant to be our reproductive organ. So the flower includes both male and female parts. And in general, what we're seeing the equivalent to as like an embryo and a baby in humans are seeds being produced. Now that you know the four main parts of the plant and what they do, do you think you can identify what parts of the plant we're actually eating in this salad? I have seven ingredients for you in this bowl and we're gonna work through them together. Are you ready? Okay. First off, I started my salad making with a head of lettuce. Just regular old iceberg lettuce. Anybody want to take a guess at what lettuce is as far as the plant part? I'll give you a hint. We can see its main stem stalk there. And we usually pull off chunks like this. Leaf. We are eating the leaves of the lettuce. Lettuce is a leaf part. Uh, next, I added some spinach. 
to my salad. Pretty easy, anybody wanna take a guess? That's right, it's another leaf. These are leaves of spinach. Okay, let's get off the topic of leaves. I added for color some of these guys. Anybody remember what these are called? That's right, these are radishes, radish. And here is a very easy hint for you to see what this plant part is. That's right, radish is a root. All of this is grown under the ground. Radish is a root. Okay. Later on, I added this guy to our salad. It has a cousin that is white. Anybody want to guess? This is broccoli. What plant part are we talking about with broccoli? What part are we eating with broccoli? That's right, we're eating a flower. These are florets of broccoli, flower. For a little bit more color, I added these guys to our salad. These are carrots, pretty easy. Anybody have a guess as to what plant part a carrot is? That's right. Carrot is another root, just like the radish. All of this is grown inside the soil. And right here is the part that would be above the ground. So this is a root. I also added some of this to our salad chopped up. Anybody? This is celery. And celery this part that we're chopping up and eating, this is the stem. So right here would be roots and in the ground. And then you're starting to see some of the flowering leafy part, but this part that I actually chopped up and that you usually eat uh, is the stem. Okay. And then lastly, I added some of these to our salad. These are green onions or scallions. Anybody want to take a guess? I chopped up this green part. So obviously we're seeing roots here, stem, and then starting to form some leaves. So we're actually eating the leafy part. I, I chopped up a little bit of stem, so this is kind of a twofer, but leaf. Okay, so we had all four plant parts in here. Leaves, the lettuce and the spinach, and a little bit of that green onion. We had stem, we had the celery for that. We had flower, the broccoli, and we had root, the carrot and the radish. Of course, I would add a little bit more to the salad to make it a complete meal and ready for the dinner table. I would add some croutons, which are a majority bread product, a wheat product for a little bit more Washington ag. And then um, a salad dressing. So I like this Italian dressing and its main ingredient is actually an animal product. It's mainly made out of egg. So another way, another connection to agriculture. And then uh, for you ranch lovers out there, ranch is a majority animal product as well. It's made out of buttermilk, so a dairy product. Alrighty, there's our salad, we dissected it. Down in the post below, I'm gonna give you an activity to practice your parts of the plant and what they're meant for. So follow along with that if you want to. And I hope this was interesting for you. What other plant parts are in your pantry at home? That's my challenge for you today. Take a look. You might be surprised at what you're actually eating. See you in the next one.